One of the things I really love most about Mr. Parker, and I believe directly impacts student achievement, is the enthusiasm he brings to the Learning Commons every day. Whether he is dressing as a character, reading aloud to students, or sharing some new and fun activity, there is no doubt that he loves what he does and makes the students love it and get excited too. Mr. Parker also exposes students to new ideas and technologies that they have never heard or seen before. He reads books from a variety of authors and on a variety of topics, as well as introducing activities such as robots, makerspace, and coding. Students love this and are able to find new passions they would not know about without these opportunities. He encourages students to problem solve and use their imagination, which directly impacts how they learn in the classroom. My name is Caprice Ramsey, and I taught with Mr. Parker from 1998 to 2004 in Henry County, and I was inspired as a teacher by his energy and excitement. We were both classroom teachers at the time, and I always said I would love for him to be my child's teacher one day. His love for his profession is infectious. And fast forward to a couple years ago, and we were able to work together at Blue Ridge, and he had moved into the media specialist position. I was so excited because I knew he would be a wonderful asset to Fannin County Schools, and all our children would have the opportunity to learn from him. He is an advocate for all children's access to literacy. He's very passionate about his area this area and as a teacher I tend to get in a routine or a rut and he's always getting our staff and students especially excited about new reading programs at Blue Ridge. He's a tech whiz. He's always helping out around the school where he can. He is a wonderful example of how we should always continue to go above the average in our field and our profession and take on new challenges. Um, we are so thankful to have Mr. Parker as our Teacher of the Year, and he would represent all of Fannin County educators well. What is my best day teaching? There are so many tiny accomplishments and celebrations in the classroom on a daily basis, like seeing a child smile when they picked out that just right book, or uh, something that they're proud of and that they've designed in makerspace. So it's really hard to pick out one, but I would have to say one of my shining moments would have to be realizing the impact I've made on a student uh, sometimes years later. I can remember my first year teaching third grade, uh, Kayla, a little spunky little third grader. Uh, she was great. She followed the rules and everything. Uh, and then her senior year in high school, she came back and said she decided she wanted to be a teacher because of me and to put the icing on the cake this year she is teacher of the year at her school uh, just like i am so that would have to be my greatest accomplishment what do i love most about my job um, i love that no day is exactly the same every day is a new day with new highs new challenges uh, it just makes teaching so exciting uh, in my position as a media specialist, I love that I see a range of abilities and creativity in my students. I love watching them uh, beam with joy when they are reading a new book. Um, I just love teaching that perfect lesson on paper and the kids do or say something that make me have to pivot and try something different. So being a teacher is anything but boring. The one piece of advice I would give to a new teacher. Um, just be a superhero for your students, both academically and emotionally. Sometimes you're the only consistent person in that child's life and they need to know that you are there for their success and that you love them. Kids are kids, they're going to make mistakes and that's okay. Making mistakes is when we learn the most. Two things that Ms. Holtman does effectively to promote student learning. Uh, the first thing is student engagement. Her students are always engaged. Um, with STEM education, of course, it's hands-on and project-based learning. And so she does a great job of um, you know, keeping students engaged. She has robotics clubs. They do coding. Um, you know, they do a lot of garden work around the school. And so students are always engaged and hands-on um, in her classroom. The second thing that makes her an effective teacher is uh, her work ethic. And so Ms. Holtman is here during uh, the summer. She comes up and takes care of the beds. She is 
uh, always here after hours. She does a lot of work uh, getting community partners in our school system and, and really working with our kids hands on and bringing in that outside professional um, professionalism to, to work with our teachers. And so Ms. Holtman is always uh, doing her best and working you know, as long as she needs to uh, for our students to learn what they need to learn. In my opinion, what makes Ms. Holtman a great teacher is that she is respectful of her students. Ms. Holtman teaches STEM at East Fannin Elementary and she values her, her students' thoughts and ideas by encouraging them to think outside the box. She creates a welcoming classroom that inspires her students to build, to plant, and to figure out problems. What also makes Ms. Holtman so respectful is that she's a wonderful listener. She genuinely cares to hear what her students have to say. She is patient with all of her students and, and is very approachable to anyone that comes in contact with her. Ms. Holtman is always willing to do the extra things that help run a school smoothly, like helping with a morning newscast or directing traffic at parent pickup. She is an asset to East Fannin and she is very deserving of Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Holtman. My best day teaching was my first day as a STEM teacher. It made me very proud to see how easily the students embraced STEM and hands-on learning. My favorite thing about teaching is being able to watch the students and see their determination and problem-solving skills. It's amazing to see how students overcome obstacles and learn at, to work as a team as they go. That, that's what makes being a STEM teacher really special. My advice to new teachers is to believe in your students. Even very young students are way more capable than we give them credit for. So believe in yourself and the things that you're doing and have faith that your hard work really will pay off. Miss Good is the true example of data-driven instruction. At any given moment, she can tell you the progress of any student within her classroom and the details of the data to back that up. She is a key contributor to the overall school performance in, in math at West Fannin. In fact, West Fannin achieved and maintained 100% growth performance two years in a row for the CCRPI math indicator. When entering Miss Good's classroom, you quickly realize the leader she is for our students and our staff. Ms. Good brings a sense of ownership, calmness, calmness, and confidence to our students, allowing them to see their true potential. Students are constantly engaged in performance-based learning, whether that be in the classroom or at our, our stream, and they seek to find answers to real-world problems. Ms. Good is a leader in our STEM program as she promotes student interest in Adopt-A-Stream, allowing them to collect and analyze um, the cleanliness of our water through data, with the University of Georgia. While facilitating this type of learning environment, Ms. Good develops a lasting relationship with even the most difficult students, struggling learners, and high achievers that leads them to believe in themselves, with, which leads to stellar performance. Ms. Good is a true asset to the West Phantom family. To me, Karen Good is a great teacher because she believes that students can learn as much knowledge outdoors as they can inside the school building. As the fifth grade STEM team, Karen and I collaborate closely to plan opportunities that encourage lifelong learning. Karen has a gift for incorporating our math standards into our science curriculum. She uses meaningful and real world experiences in the great outdoors. From calculating area, perimeter, and volume using our raised garden beds to completing math tasks in the greenhouse, from counting macro invertebrates at the lower outdoor classroom to chemically testing the water in our stream, our students begin to develop a hope for the future as they experience success and fulfillment doing something they love. She also has a gift for being able to know each child's potential and stays on them until he or she reaches that potential. She doesn't stop until success is accomplished. These are just some of the gifts that Karen has given to the students of Fannin County. What a joy to have taught alongside her for the past five years. She keeps me on my toes and has definitely helped make me 
a better teacher. One year I had a group of students that had a particularly hard time with math. They struggled all year with the simplest of math tasks. The students worked hard and persevered each and every day. And at the end of the year, when the milestone scores finally arrived, I was pleasantly surprised at the considerable amount of growth this group achieved. This proof of their perseverance made all the hard work worth it. This was one of the best days that I've ever had teaching. What I love about teaching is watching students draw connections and seeing those aha moments in the classroom. It's like watching the light come on in their minds. My advice to a new teacher is to do your very best to deliver the curriculum using best practices every day. Each day makes a difference. In fact, every moment of every day makes a difference. You never know when that one moment will change the life of a child. Good morning. I've been asked to discuss what the two most important things are that Miss Newton does every day to promote student achievement. There's a couple of things I'd like to share with you. First off, I'd like to say that she has all the things that a good teacher has. She's dedicated. She's creative. She's a hard worker. She's reliable. She's honest. She shows up every day ready to work. She's wonderful. Uh, all the things that you would expect in a good employee, that's what I get from Miss Newton. I'm honored that she's here. Uh, she is a great leader on her hallway. She does things that most people don't do. She's, she's a very good employee. She's very good to have around. And I enjoy being around her. I enjoy watching her class. But really what sets her apart from the rest are the things that you can't teach or you can't learn. It's a gift. Miss Newton does have a gift. She has a gift of passion for her students. Uh, she takes it to the next level. She not only is dedicated and hardworking, but she cares and loves for her kids. She wants to see them achieve. The gift of teaching that is inside her burns up and comes out in a way that's just wonderful and uh, is a, a joy to watch. You can tell that she's somebody who really is not only good at her craft, but she loves what she does. And seeing her do those things that she loves to do really makes me know that we made the right choice for Teacher of the Year for Phantom Middle School. I'm honored to say that I'm the principal for Miss Brittany Newton and I'm glad that she's here on our staff. She truly makes a difference, not only for all of us that are around her, but for the kids that walk into her classroom every day. Thank you very much. In my opinion, what makes Miss Newton a great teacher is she is very compassionate to the kids. You can just tell that she truly loves them and cares about their whole being, and in return, the kids just adore her. My very best day teaching was a couple of years ago when my kids were working on um, like artifacts from their novel study and they were able to choose their groups and the product that they provided and they were all sitting around uh, very intrigued very engaged in what they were doing and all the while they were like turning the book into potential artifacts and it was very neat because the kids could really see value in what they were doing and they were engaged in their learning and I knew that they were going to be able to take what they were doing in my room and do it in other places which is the entire point of education. The thing I like most about my job is that when uh, kids leave my room, not for the day, but like from then on after I've had them in class years later, I love seeing what they've turned into. I like seeing them being athletically successful, uh, academically successful, or I see them out in town with their family and they're able to tell me all the good things that they're participating in or what they've achieved in life. The most important piece of advice for a new teacher would be that relationships matter with your students and that when they find value in what you're teaching because they trust you and they know that you want them to do well, they'll work very hard for you. Two of the most effective things that Ms. Howard does to promote student learning. I think the best way to answer that question is to go directly to her students and I have done that. I have spoken with several of her students and one recurring theme is engagement. Uh, she has a great ability to engage her students. Anytime I've been in her class uh, there have always been activities going on, the students have always been engaged in the learning process. So I think that that is one of the main things that she's able to do to enhance her students' experience within her class and also to support student learning. The second thing 
is her ability to go above and beyond for her students. Um, you know, she has a, a wide range of students and those students have a wide range of interest, but she's great at asking questions, uh, causing students to think critically, and then leading them to the correct answer. So, you, you know, when I think about Ms. Howard, the epitome of her teaching ability comes from her ability to engage students as well as to get them to think critically. Ms. Sabrina Howard is probably one of the finest educators on this campus. Um, I really enjoyed having her as a colleague of mine because uh, a lot of folks, even the two of us, seem to consider that we are pretty much twins. She has a very unorthodox way of educating, which I think the students are absolutely gravitating towards every time they see her. She has an extreme love for the kids that I have just not seen in many people. And she has a passion for what she loves to teach. Everything she teaches, she puts so much research into, tries to find unique ways to get the kids involved, regardless of what level the kids are learning on. She finds a way to reach them. I respect that. And it's the kind of teacher that I hope to grow up to be. I love doing labs. I feel like I can change how a student views science through just one lab or just one demo. There's nothing like doing a cool lab and having a reluctant student tell me afterwards it was the best lab or the best moment of their life. I love the relationships with students and keeping in touch with them after graduation. When a student tells me years later that they remember something that I did or something that I said, it means an awful lot. I've heard veteran teachers say not to smile until Christmas, but that simply isn't true. When a student does something funny, you should laugh. You show them that you're human and not a robot. You have to find some good in everything you do every day. I don't think I could do this job without smiling or laughing. Some days will be harder than others, but it's much harder to give up something if you have something positive to hold on to.